Tales of Tribute pits you against human or NPC opponents in a turn-based, two-player, strategic deck-building card game. With a unique storyline, interesting characters, cool new rewards, leaderboards, and a matchmaking system, there is something for all players in ESO to enjoy in Tribute. During a game of Tribute, you play various cards to build your deck, which helps you gain prestige and garner the favor of the patrons. Reach 40 prestige points, or gain the favor of all four patrons at once, and you'll win. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We've got a lot to cover in terms of basics before we can get into winning. When you start a game of Tribute, you and your opponent will each choose two patron decks to bring to the match. These patron decks provide cards you can acquire during the game, and each deck has its own unique set of mechanics or themes associated with it. Because both of you will have access to the cards from all four selected patrons, both you and your opponent always start on equal footing. It's really up to you to adapt and devise the best strategy to deal with all the cards dealt. In the center of the board is the Tavern, which is a combination of the four patron decks and a neutral deck shuffled together. The Tavern is where both you and your opponent can acquire cards for your deck with coin. Just above and below the Tavern, you can also see totals for coin, power, and prestige for both you and your opponent. We'll talk more about these resources in just a minute. Along the bottom of the board are your draw pile, your current hand, and your cooldown pile. Each turn, you draw five cards into your hand and play them. Once your turn is over, all cards except agents are sent to your cooldown pile. Once your draw pile is depleted and you need to draw again, the cards from your cooldown pile are shuffled back into it. On the right side of the board are the four patrons you and your opponent selected at the start of the game and one neutral patron called the Treasury. Each turn, you play the cards in your hand to gain their resources, such as coin or power. These resources can then be used to acquire cards from the tavern or to interact with the patrons for powerful boons. When you acquire a card from the tavern, it immediately goes to your cooldown pile, unless it's a special type of card called a contract. These special contract cards, as indicated by their unique look, are played immediately. Once they're used up or removed from play by your opponent, they are removed from the match entirely. Agents are another special type of card in Tribute. Agents are cards that remain on the board when played. That is, until your opponent deals with them. Power can be used to damage your opponent's agents or as another resource for some of the patrons. In addition, any unspent power at the end of your turn is automatically converted to prestige. This is one of the primary ways to increase your total prestige and eventually claim victory. Some action and agent cards also have powerful additional combo effects that trigger when you play multiple cards from the same patron during your turn. Which cards you choose to acquire is entirely up to you. Do you chase cards only from a few patrons to increase your chances of drawing a powerful combo? Or do you acquire the most powerful card you can at the time? It's your choice. Once every turn, you can activate a patron. Each patron has its own unique cost, but will grant you a powerful boon as a result. In addition to the boon, activating a patron will also change its favor. All patrons will begin the game in a neutral state. If you activate a patron, you will gain its favor. If a patron favors your opponent, in most cases, activating it will set it back to neutral. Note that while you can usually only activate one patron per turn, there are some cards that allow you to activate patrons multiple times. The neutral treasury patron is available in every game and won't favor you when activated but it does allow you to convert any card in your hand to a valuable writ of coin card, which is worth two coin. As the game progresses and your prestige totals rise, your decks will get larger and hopefully more effective. And by combining smart deck building choices with the patron abilities, you can set up some powerful turns to surprise your opponent. As mentioned earlier, there are two ways to win a game of tribute. 
A contested victory is when a player reaches 40 prestige points and can hold on to that lead through their opponent's next turn. This race to maintain the lead can continue for several rounds until somebody either fails to get the lead back or finally reaches 80 prestige points. A patron victory occurs when one player gains the favor of all four patrons at once. This victory occurs immediately regardless of current prestige totals, so definitely watch out. While it sounds simple, winning is not easy, and your strategy will change based on the patrons and what cards are drawn into the tavern. When you complete a game, you can earn many rewards, including gold, consumables, crafting materials, cosmetics, furnishings, and more. There's even additional rewards for advancing through the ranks, as well as finishing at the top of the seasonal PvP leaderboards. Finally, by completing quests, unlocking achievements, and playing more tribute matches, you can find card upgrades and even entire new patron decks. You'll want to check your achievements journal for more info on how to unlock them all. Fast-paced and strategic, Tales of Tribute is easy to pick up, but difficult to master. It is unlike anything else seen before in the Elder Scrolls Online. We can't wait to play Tribute with you all soon. Good luck and have fun.